wanting to show you guys this is the school of my kids and i have my friend here and she's renting in that house in that house three bedroom upstairs in how many how much one three one thousand three hundred they're renting one thousand three hundred for three bedroom including utilities this, oh that's nice wow you see that's how i am saying like uh, in calgary and toronto and vancouver if you compare in calgary it's still better here in calgary if we're talking about renting now they just bought a house and a townhouse a four bedroom for 230 right the price uh, to, I'm sure, 248 248 for a four bedroom townhouse townhouse right yeah. so that's a very good investment and good is starting if you're planning to buy a house here in calgary so the reason i'm sharing this for you guys because i believe some people are not believing me what i'm saying because uh, i said calgary is cheaper if you compare in toronto and vancouver you can still find a cheaper price houses just like that just to start for the living yeah so i'm happy for ate that she they just get into the real tour and they found a place for them to to buy just to start instead of uh, renting that house for 1300 a month then you can use that uh renting for your own investment house here in canada so i have a youtube channel oh what's your name sarah buyukan oh. so that's why i'm sharing and helping uh, uh immigrants like aspirant people to come in canada yeah. So I'm sharing about life here in Canada. So they have the ideas. Huh? That's the main. That's the main purpose, guys. So because I love you guys, immigrants like us, immigrants, like we we have to know the reality of life here in Canada. We ha we don't have to come here and because this Canada is hallelujah, huh? No. So the <laughs> we need to work hard. Where are you working again, Ate? Co-op. Co uh, she's working. I know her because her grand grandson is my is my son classmate. So that's why we know each other here in uh, school. That's our kids' school. We just yap 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 for a while. I like to talk to people who have the experience, and I want you to show them like uh, reality. So then you believe me what I'm saying here in my YouTube videos. Because sometimes if I talk in the YouTube videos, you guys don't believe me if I just say yap 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 yap. So she is my evidence. I just talked to her and just to start the living here in Canada. If you have, uh, if the approval is very low, then you can, the choice is, uh, you, the choices is you can just buy a townhouse, a duplex or single house, small a single house. house, like an old s small house, you know, and instead of paying 1,300, that's your own mortgage in your own home and that's your own property and that's your own investment here in Canada. So anyway, guys, what's your name again, Ate? Gemma. Gemma. Nice meeting you again here. <laughs> She's a Filipina from... Uh, from Iloilo. From Iloilo. Ilo. Say hi to Iloilo Ilo in Philippines and in say hi to... In Bataan. In Bataan. Say hi to everyone for my followers also anywhere around the world. The reason why I speak English, Ate, yeah. because I have some from Nigeria, India, like all over the world they watching my youtube videos so that's how i do it's because if i speak tagalog yeah, so some can, no it's not fair i want yeah. everybody know what's going on in this country so that's why I yeah thank you ate so much huh? you yeah, take, you're care. Yeah? take care yeah, how's your daughter oh, she's, she's good, good. Yeah. oh anyway thank you ate huh? okay you take thank care you. i'll see you again yeah, yeah. okay bye-bye my goodness i have to yap 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 whoever in Canada, when we are very new immigrant in this country, sometimes we don't know how to pronounce well. And if you are talking to Canadian people, they mistakenly what we are saying. It happened to me before. So let's say when I pronounce Ottawa, because I thought like Ottawa, that's how we say in Filipino. But when you spoke, when you speak to Canadian people, they don't understand what you are saying because I say is Ottawa. In Filipino but if you say it in English like Canadian oh, yeah. you have to say Ottawa yeah. and they will say understand like oh I see okay Ottawa I said okay because what I said is Ottawa mm. <laughs> <laughs> so my kids is correcting the way I spoke in English I was like let's say we are going to Edmonton like if I speak is, if I speak to some Canadian people I will just okay. say to them uh, let's go to Edmonton <laughs> and if they hear that word the sound I say it's kind of weird for them but the best you say in Edmonton 
is you can say Edmonton. Edmonton. So if you are talking, like you know, we are not perfect because who cares anyway? That's own. That's our own language, right? So anyway, the warm. The car is getting warm, so we are getting inside the car. Hey guys, did you guys get your water? Yeah. You okay. Say ready. bye bye to Lola. Bye Lola. My house is messy because you know I have a day home so all the hanging there is all of my day home kids so when they get inside my house it's easier right they can put their shoes hang they hang their took everything right so we don't have to worry about it. easy for me especially like a mommy you know so now I have to take my kids She's cool. uh -uh. my son just slide on the snow and he just like it how did you do no, it's a little drama anyway. <laughs> You're not drama? Okay, sorry, baby. You're okay. You're a strong man. Uh -huh. Hello, everyone, guys. So it's 8 o'clock in the morning here in Canada, and I'm preparing my kids to go to school. So I just only want to show you how we dress up like winter, like everything everything okay guys so stay with me until i finish my video thank you so much winter time here in canada is too much job to do okay so because it's a little bit cold outside we always have a like i have to double my pants hey moriah put your snow pants okay wait what's no pants yeah so now i'm ready i put my this one otherwise i have to double my the pants orange? But never mind. No, put the big one. Winter boots. Make sure you have this scarf. It's everything is in here. All my winter clothes is all easy. You know, when you're a mom, it's easier. Just hang it here. Who cares? Huh? Well, I hang That's my it. stuff here. Then, winter jackets. My took. my mast so my daughter come here my daughter snow pants for them this is our life for at least six months in Canada put took winter jacket this one mask too much hey hurry up we're going now yes can you please put your winter jacket guys It has to be all dressed, the mask. Hey, put your mask. Right. Don't forget my shoes. <laughs> to go and start my car. At least three minutes, then it's warm. If you can see, it's still dark. Canada, you can see white snow outside. I have to go and start my car. Hey guys, are you ready? No. Please. I'm not. Uh, Prepare yourself now, guys. No. I'm almost done. Almost done? Can you say something about those friends in Asia, in Africa? Say hi to them. Hi. Can you say say something about life in Canada? Uh, it's very cold. Are you happy here in Canada? Yeah. No. Why? Because <laughs> it's so cold. Yeah, it's very cold. But at least it's gonna be my first. No, I want Canada. You wanna go Philippines? Yeah? Are you sure? Yeah. Why? Because it's hot. It's hot in Philippines? Yeah. Are the teachers good in Canada? Mm hmm Are they? Mm hmm They're very good, right? Mm hmm yeah. They don't spank kids in school? No, mm -hmm. they only get time out. They got time out? Yeah. Mm hmm In my school, they don't go time out. They just phone your parents. Yeah, that's right. If you are doing bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or write a note in your agenda. Yeah, right. What else? And my mom doesn't know how, how to say English words. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean to me. <laughs> no, that's true. Why you say that? Because when I told you to say this word, you're like... <laughs> And here. Slippery? Mm -hmm. What did you do? You be careful, man. I was running on the ice. 
while you are playing. For us, like immigrants in Canada anyway, English is not our first language, right? So who cares like the way we talk, but uh, sometimes we need to consider, right? Especially when we are talking to the Canadian people because, uh, oh, my son is scraping the car. So he's awesome. You did awesome, Kuya. I think my car is getting warm already. So now he likes this scrape. So anyway, the reason why I'm saying this because on my own experience, um, when we are talking to uh, white Canadian people who are born and raised in this country, Oh no, yeah, my son said I don't have to say white people. You see that? You, we are very careful, yeah. We cannot say like, uh, oh, okay. <sighs> okay, country, when we are in Canada, we have to adapt this country, right? That's the most important because you want to come and settle in, can in this country. I mean to say you have to learn something of their culture, their language, the way they talk. Like, we, we don't care about the way we pronounce as long as like, the culture we have to adapt because we are in this in their country right so and we have our own accent and they don't care right but the thing is sometimes the way we pronounce is very different but we have to pay attention sometimes so they understand us too and like for example the way we pronounce the provinces here in canada one of the province here in canada also pronounced like saskatchewan saskatchewan like we filipinos say saskatchewan Saskatchewan, you know, but in English you say when you are talking to the some people here in Canada, you have to say Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan, or you are going to Toronto, Toronto. For us, is Toronto, Toronto. Like that's I don't know Toronto. Yeah, like something like you have to make it deeper at Toronto. Hey, you have to be careful scraping the card on this front. Okay, thank you, baby. So anyway. Toronto, Ottawa, Edmonton. So in Edmonton or in the province of Alberta. So Alberta, that's how we pronounce Alberta. Oh, Alberta, that's something like that, so Alberta. I'm not an English spoken person, you know, I'm not an English teacher, but that's how I learned when I came here in Canada. Those like a common uh, name of the provinces here in Canada anyway. So, okay, what else the province here in Canada? like? Uh, Saskatchewan, Regina, Regina, Alberta, Edmonton, Saskatchewan, um, Coquitlam. Okay, Coquitlam in British Columbia, actually, we have to say Coquitlam. Like for us, like who cares? Like, especially and when, when you are talking to your own people, like the same language is who cares, right? But I mean, it's like when you are talking to your to like uh, people who are born in Canada, try to, or if you don't sure about how you pronounce, you better ask them. They are very nice to help us, very good. That's what I love Canadian people. If you don't know how you pronounce, they will teach you how. Sometimes my kids corrected me how to say pronounce those words. Mom, you don't know how to speak English. I said, I know. <laughs> I'm not born here anyway, but I'm just trying to learn, right? Be careful, Mariah. And in Canada, you have to make it sure there is always a car seat for the little one <laughs> because it's all depends on by age, you know, they know how to buckle themselves. So please hurry up now, quick. <coughs> okay, let's go before my daughter is um, crying because crying he said he must be late. Do I have Hi, you guys can see it's shiny, the road, because that's a... Sh that's a um, Ice. Ice. So when you see the ice is black, mean to say it's slippery. So you have to know how to differentiate the shiny, uh, slippery ice. Hey, Daddy, oh shoot! You cannot really see it. Oh, there you go. I can see now. Okay, let's go now. Hey guys, you see the eyes all over. Anyway guys, thank you for watching again and I'll see you for my next video. I just only I just only vlog. I just only vlog like my reality life here in Canada, like from morning, get up as a mom and I know it's beautiful. And yeah. So I'll see you guys for my next video again and thank you so much for watching me always and subscribing my channel.